Hey guys, it's Ken from OK Portugal. I'm here with Armin from Mountain Homes. Hello. Now, Armin is, well, she's just showing me this incredible property. Uh, I can't wait to show it to you guys. But before we get there, I just want to find out a little bit more about the area. Yes, so we are in Saint Romain. Um, we are close to the town. So there is a, a coffee shop, there is a grocery stores, school also. Mm. Uh, we are like two or three minutes from Seya. Uh, that is a bigger town. Yeah, and we're in the center of Portugal. So we're in central Portugal, right next to the Serra de Estrela mountain. Yes, Serra de Estrela mountain that belongs to Guarda uh, okay. district. Uh, we are also about two hours from uh, Porto airport. Yeah, about three hours from Lisbon. Yes. And, and uh, uh, five, five and a half hours to Faro. So. Our biggest city, the closest city to here, you'd be Seia, well, like the biggest town or city. Yes, and, uh, and after Viseu. Okay, Viseu, but but to uh, to Sayer, it's not very far. It's no, about uh, three minutes driving. And Sayer is lovely. It's got absolutely everything there. So, yes. location-wise, absolutely awesome. The property itself, it's huge. I mean, how many bedrooms? There are nine bedrooms. Uh, there is two houses on the property. The main hmm. one, and then another one. I mean, it's a big manor house. It's like an old, what we would call a manor house, like a big family home that was built in the fifties. It's been in the family the whole time. It's got a lot of history um, and it's got a lot of space. So I think we're not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to take you on a tour and show you this awesome place. Come along and check it out. This is the hallway over here. And as you can see, we've got some beautiful stained glass doors, a really lovely space, lovely high ceilings. And let's take you through here, through these doors. And as you can see, this place is absolutely huge. It's very vast. I just want to turn around quickly and just give you a look at what these doors look like with the light coming through them. Really, really nice. I think for the video, we're going to start on this side over here. So this basically takes us through to a large dining room area. Absolutely immense. Again, really tall ceilings. And on this side over here, we have like a little lounge, a little lounge area, and a nice wood burning stove over here. These chimneys actually go right through the ceiling and they also heat the upstairs bedrooms. I want to give you a little look at the space over here and the views. Now on our left, this is actually the Cerro de Estrella and over here we're looking into the valley, the Elva Valley. But from upstairs you can actually see that a bit better. If we go through this side, we've got what I'd call a conservatory. It's like a, a winter garden space. I love the the glass windows and we also have an insulated roof on here. Now these windows aren't insulated or anything like that but there are insulated parts of the property and yeah this is a huge huge place. So I'm going to go quite quickly with this tour but if someone does actually want me to do a much more detailed tour then you can drop me an email. I can come back here, re revisit it for you and give it to you in much more detail. So if we go in this direction we've got a little sitting room all nice and cozy, lovely views. And if we swing around in this direction, this is actually the service entrance. And this is an entrance that they mainly use. And the reason for that is because, well, we'll go out here in a bit. It's because the car's parked down here and you can come straight in from the car. And let me just take you into the kitchen quickly. So you can see this was the old original kitchen of the building. This is a big chimney and they used to have a big sort of oven space over here. But for the time being now, they've renovated it so you've got nice granite countertops, dishwasher, big, you know, big oven, big gas hob. Uh, we've got double sinks over here. And those look out, give you a couple of mountain views just on the side. So we're on the outskirts of the town, um, but this property itself is almost like a rural property because it's got a lot of land out the back there but you've got all of the benefits of actually being close to town. You can walk five minutes and be at shops and restaurants and bars and things like that. So as I move through the kitchen area, uh, let's just look at where we've come from. So we've just gone around the corner. Uh, let's start with this room over here. So we've got a bedroom, really large. Look at the ceilings, really tall. And this is the chimney pipe I was talking about. So that's going to keep this room nice and warm in the winter time. And we've got two nice big windows in here. Let's just have 
pop our heads out here. So this is part of the gardens, the expansive gardens that stretch all the way up here and make around one acre of land. So a nice big space. And let's walk through here because we've got so much to, well, to cover. I actually need to hurry up a little bit. Otherwise this video is going to be exceptionally long. Look at this bathroom. So the old original tiles, old original everything. And I actually quite like this sort of turquoise blue green color. And the bathroom obviously leads out to the gardens outside. Really nice, nice size, nice space. And we have another bedroom on this side over here. As you can see, these bedrooms are huge. Also really nice views onto the gardens. And this again is the kitchen. And now we have the staircase that basically leads up to an attic space or a loft converted space. So they've done it with a whole brand new roof and everything. We've got these nice Velux windows over here. And if I turn around, it's all walking height. You can see all the way back. We've got a couple of bedrooms and a bathroom. We've got all of these little storage areas here. So we've got one there, one there, one there, and one there, which is basically storage in the eaves where you can put, you can put things. And we've got some Velux lights. So tons and tons of storage for your stuff. And a couple of bedrooms up here. So we got two sort of mirrored bedrooms, single bed over there. And let's go back to the side here. We've got another one that's practically identical, just a mirror image. Now upstairs we do have double glazing. Um, and this is the bathroom. So a nice new modern bathroom with a bidet, nice walk-in shower and then lovely views out to the back, which we'll get to soon. And let me just show you this quickly. The property has a brand new roof. So this entire roof on this property is all brand new, all fully insulated inside. And you can see that a little bit better from up here. So here we can see the, the actual roof structure itself. And from up here we can also see the amazing views of the Cerro de Estrella. There's a little bit of snow on the peak up there. Now the property also comes with this little piece of land. So just across the road, there's actually a building plot and that's a, a building plot so you can actually build another house there. So yeah, lots of land. Okay, if we spin this round and let me take you down the stairs, there's actually more. So this is like the sort of main sort of living area, these upstairs areas and then there's a lower sort of basement area that's also converted and I think I'm going around the right way to get there. Yes. Okay so if we go through here, uh, the kitchen was just on our side, so if we go through here and down it basically takes us to this downstairs living area. Massive massive house. And just look at that, so, yeah, plenty of space. I think we're gonna try and start in order. So let's start on this side and work our way around. Got an absolutely enormous bedroom. She's huge. I think this gives us views out to the back garden. And, well, yeah, just huge, huge, huge space. We have a downstairs bathroom just over here. And it's kind of new, it's been newly renovated. And got a nice big sort of landing area over here. You can see all this big furniture that they're managing to put in here. Another living room. It's absolutely immensely huge. I mean, wow, I can't believe all of this space. <laughs> I looked at this very briefly just before doing this video tour. So a lot of this stuff's new to me. I really love this. So yeah, really big living area, living room. And that just goes on and on. Okay, so let's have a look in here. I believe this is the garage. So there's a garage space over here. So you can see lots of storage. 
it's not the biggest garage. It's a, it's a, you know, it's enough for a single car, but you've got plenty of space on the side of the car, and you'll also have plenty of space in front of the car. And let's see. I believe she said there were nine bedrooms. So this is another one of the bedrooms. Views out to the garden. And another bedroom. This one has its own ensuite. So, and it's been quite newly renovated. So nice sort of mosaic tiles, step in bathroom, quite nicely done. Let me stand on this side here, give you a better view. And if we work our way around, this place just goes on and on. <laughs> Now, I think a place like this could be turned into like a hotel. Uh, perhaps this could be the owner's house. Um, there's actually other options for accommodation, but I'll show you those in a moment. So we have, this is kind of like a, a day bathroom. This is like a guest bathroom for the day. We've got these big doors over here, which is how you get to the bottom of the property if you don't want to use the stairs. It could be completely separated from the upstairs of the property. So this could be a completely separate house. It's got everything it needs. Um, the only thing I haven't shown you down here, I think, is this. This is like a storage area. And the reason why this is here, because it's in the center of the property, so this is quite climate controlled. As you can see, there's all these old bottles of wine in here. It's the perfect place for it. And they also have one of these. This is an old original salt box. So before they had refrigerators, they would use these salt boxes to store meat and things like that. So there's some nice old historical pieces in here, which is really cool. All right. So, I believe we've done, we've done all of this downstairs here. So now, we're gonna go outside. I'm gonna show you the rest of the property. Come along. So I think I'm gonna take you to the very front of the property and show you what it looks like. So this is the front of the property. This is the driveway going up. And behind me over here are electric gates. So electric opening gates that take you up. And along the sides of the driveway, we have lovely little manicured gardens, nice mature garden with beautiful trees and it's actually a very nice looking property from the front. So as I said earlier, this is kind of an unusual property because you're close to a town and yet you've got quite a lot of land and you can actually do a little bit of farming, grow your own vegetables and things like that. So let's have a look at those gardens now. We've got some nice manicured lawn spaces just down here um, and these lead up to a terrace that runs down in a sort of rectangular shape from the top of the property down to here making up a total of around 4,000 square meters, which is uh, nearly one acre. And if we go up these steps, we've actually got something quite interesting on the sides here. These are little channels for water. And the way that this works is the water comes from up top and they would actually use little boards to stop, stop the, wa well, the water flowing and then the water would run out of these channels and irrigate the land. And you can decide which points get irrigated by putting down one of the little blocks. So all along the sides here, they used to use this for growing stuff. So they would grow, as you can see, olives and they got fruit trees. Um, but they also used to have a big pergola that would go across here, a big metal framed pergola that did the entire length and they were growing wine. So all growing grapes and creating their own wine or making wine here. So, you know, this was all kind of quite rural, but really pretty and green as it is now. We've still got the orange trees lemon trees, different types of fruit trees and things like that going down. Now we also have another building over here. This was like the caretaker's cottage. So a caretaker and his wife used to live here. She used to do the housekeeping. He used to look after the land. And this is a fully legal house with a habitation license as well. So um, it can be reconstructed and turned into another house. So as I said before, you know, this could be like a tourism project. So you could either live in this as your main house and you could rent out different levels of this main house or vice versa, you could actually renovate these. And there's a whole bunch of buildings along here as well. So before we get there, I wanna show you some of the old original features. This is a little chicken house. Um, so they used to keep little chickens and things like that here. We've got like a bit of a indoor area for them to stay. I'm not sure what's going on. I've been out here for most of the day and for some reason there's a helicopter flying above us. It's not normal for that to happen. 
But anyway, hopefully, hopefully it won't be too noticeable on the video as I make the rest of this. So they would keep chickens over here. This is also an old sort of laundry. So they'd use this for washing laundry. They'd use this rough stone over here for washing their laundry and rinsing and soaking in these two different tubs. And look, it's even got like a little soap dish area. So really nice traditional old thing. There's another soap dish over there. I really, really like that. So this property has uh, something called a lavada and basically um, it's, a, it's a connection outside that you can connect to your property and you can bring uh, fresh water. Um, they basically, you just pay a yearly fee and the whole year round you can use that for irrigating your land. So at the bottom there it gets connected and what they used to do is they would pump it from the bottom there all the way up to the top here. There's a big tank I'll show you in a bit and then they would use that to sort of drip irrigate all of these fields uh, and also use these little channels here where they would open up the sort of sluice gates and send the water into these different fields. And there's also a pozo or a well, so a nice big well. Um, I can't really see down there, I'm not sure if the camera's going to be picking it up because uh, it's very dark in there and my torch doesn't seem to be doing much. But I'm pretty sure there's going to be water. I mean we are in a very, a very wet part of um, the Serie de Estrella, it's not like Castella Branca where it's really dry. Uh, I'm fairly sure that there's going to be water in the well over here. And let me spin you around and just show you what the front of this building looks like. So, we've got the staircase going out the side, out the front. And let's go upstairs and have a look. So it is very basic, it does need to be renovated, but I think it's got a lot of potential. So this is like a nice big sort of living space. And then we've got different bedrooms off to the side, a bathroom off to this side, and this one over here was the old kitchen. And it looks like they used to use, you know, wood and stuff like that, and maybe have an old wood burning chimney or something like that positioned just over here. And this over here is another bedroom. So all quite nice. It's, uh, I think this could make the most amazing little flat. And it's also got a really nice roof terrace with some incredible views. Let's go and have a look up here quick. So this is gonna give you a nice idea of the area where we are now, look at this. So these are the Estrella Mountains, there's snow just up there. And, well it is winter, it's the middle of winter, but still really, really beautiful. And you've got these almost wraparound views. Right, so there are lots of outbuildings, and I'll show those to you now. Obviously this isn't like a full in-depth tour, because a full in-depth tour of, the, of this place is going to take a long time. This is just to give you a taste of what this place has to offer. We've got, this is the winemaking area. That's the big old macerator that put the grapes in there. Turn the handle, macerate them, let the grapes sit in there for a while and ferment, then put them into the barrels to mature. And so this was their winemaking area. And as I said earlier, they used to have this metal sort of metal ringed pergola going the entire way up this walkway, covered in grapevines. And so off that you would get enough, you know, wine to do everything. Now they do have Someone who's still growing veggies out there, who lives in the village. And you can see it's nice fertile ground. The veggies are growing really well. Um, got a little bit here that they've rotated and they're going to plant in, because we are still in winter. And then we've got all these outbuildings. So I don't think I'm going to try and open this one, because the door looks like it's in bad, bad nick. Uh, but these are ones that he opened up earlier, so let's have a look. So as you can see, this is just like just like storage, um, but potentially you could turn these into other little flats or accommodations or something like that, you know. Lots of space for it. All right, so now I want to take you up to this, this tank. It's actually pretty cool. Now, as I said, the water comes from this sort of government water scheme that the farmers and stuff use in the area. And so you sign up to it, I think you pay a very small yearly fee and you can use as much as you want. So you can basically irrigate your entire property in the middle of summer 
you don't have to pay for you know municipal water like tapped water to your house you know for irrigating a large plot of land like this and uh, yeah and you send it all the way up to the top there and drip irrigate the fields all the way through here and this is the tank I was talking about so it's absolutely massive it would also make obviously it needs a bit of a clean and everything but also make a nice little dipping pool for the summertime imagine you fill this up with some nice mountain water and this was the old system where they would open up and it would run through the channels and then you could sluice it off to send water into the different segments of the garden and then finally the last thing i want to show you is the other access so at the very end of the property here we have another access to get inside and this is looking back over the entire thing so it narrows it's a bit narrow on this side and obviously widens towards the bottom but it's kind of like a long rectangular shape so i'm going to put all of the details of this property in the video description below uh, it's available through hermin uh, at mountain homes i'm going to put all of her details up on the screen down in the description so if you have any questions ask her obviously i'm not an estate agent i don't sell properties uh, i've just come i like looking around at all of these cool places and uh, sharing them with you guys so i hope you enjoyed the video let us know what you think in the comments below and if you want any more information uh, contact Hermin. thanks for watching ciao